great challenge. Uh, so in order to not uh, labor the press conference, I wanted to turn the press conference over to our various candidates and allow them a few moments to address the media. Uh, the first candidate will be David DiPietro, the candidate for the 59th state Senate seat currently held by Senator Dale Volcker. David. I want to thank you for having me here today. I am running because I think after 36 years in Albany, it's time for a change. My opponent, Del Volker, has been there for 36 years, since 1972. And I ask everyone to look around, look at this city, look at where we're standing. Tell me it is better off today than it was in 1972. Tell me it's better off today than it was 10 or 20 years ago. It's not. Our region is dying. Nine out of the top 10 counties in the country, the highest tax counties are right here in New York State. Most of them are right here in western New York. We're dying on the vine and we need a change. That my opponent, Del Volker, is the epitome of what's wrong with Albany. He's the epitome of the dysfunctionality in Albany. Anyone who can cater to those special interest groups as much as Dale does deserves to go. After 36 years, it's time for a change. As a mayor in East Aurora, I cut taxes, I downsized government, I merged and consolidated services. I am asking the state the first thing I would do if elected, eliminate the gas tax. Eliminate the gas sales tax in New York State. Our Albany dysfunctionality cannot even do that. They're in session today and they cannot even come to such a conclusion to eliminate something that's killing every Western New Yorker. Secondly, they're talking about capping property taxes at 4% this year. That's higher than the rate of inflation. My purpose, my goal, tax property, cap, cap property taxes at 0% for three years. Give people real relief, real economic, real property tax relief. Make the cuts necessary. With your support, I think we can make a big change in Albany, but it starts with one person and one vote on primary day. I look forward to seeing you out there. I'd like to thank all my supporters. I'd like to thank my wife, my family, and most of all the voters who hopefully in September 9th will be out there to support us and make the changes we need to make. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. My name is Mark Rosanti. I'm running in the Democratic primary this September 9th, challenging the current Senator Antoine Thompson in such primary. The reason why I'm running in my candidacy is very simple. As an attorney, I've represented people of all walks of life, from people that are very poor to people that are very wealthy. My campaign is strictly focusing on representing all the people of the 60th district. That includes Niagara Falls, that includes Grand Island, the city of Tonawanda, and many portions of Buffalo. My goal is to make sure our proportionate fair share of monies does not consistently be spent and sent to downstate New York and those funds actually come to the western New York area inclusive of the 60th district. I'm not going to promise that I can create jobs, but what I can promise is with our proportionate fair share that we can have the opportunity for jobs, the opportunity for grants and programs for young people not walking the street corners, sitting on the sidewalks, not having an education, but the ability to go ahead and find jobs something they could be a proud of, something they could have self-esteem in themselves and responsibility. I would like to revamp the entire educational department. The amount of money spent per child per year with the percentage rate of those children that are passing, especially in high school, is deplorable. That entire system needs a complete overhaul. There are numerous other areas that I would like to talk to you about. All I can say is, Please vote for me primary day, September 9th, in the primary against Antoine Thompson. I am Mark Rosanti. I would like to thank Primary Challenge, Lenny, for their support. I also want to thank all the staff for me hard getting signatures, my wife and my family. I appreciate it, and I appreciate all your support as well. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, my name is Dennis Delano. I was a detective with the Buffalo Police Department and now I'm running for the 58th Senate District. Uh, 
I don't want to take up too much of your time today. Uh, I don't have a lot of the answers that I'm looking for, and that's why I want to go to Albany and get those answers for people. Uh, I'm not one to make empty promises. Uh, I want to find out what the problems are in this area and what needs to be fixed. Uh, I need the support of the public to do that, the voting public. Uh, I'm crossing all party lines. It's not about parties anymore. It's about the people that need to be put in position to revitalize this area and uh, bring our kids back to this area. We have uh, our children are moving out of this area because of the uh, it's dying. Just like Dave said before, we're dying on the vine here. We need somebody to get into Albany, uh, change the way they do business there, stop spending the money, and uh, make the proper cuts that are needed to revitalize this area and make sure. Just like Mark said, make sure that money comes to our area instead of getting short circuit and uh, going uh, downstate. So uh, I'm greatly honored to be endorsed by Primary Challenge. Uh, they've, they've helped me immensely, immensely because I'm, I don't know too much about politics. I'm finding out as I go along. And uh, they've uh, been a tremendous help to me, and I, I'm greatly honored to be endorsed by them. And I thank you for your time and uh, uh, hope to get your vote come November. Thank you very much. For those candidates that were not able to be here, I just wanted to say thank you to those that came here. Uh, County Legislator uh, Kathy Konst is, has, uh, um, is not here uh, because she is doing the people's business. Though this would have been a very good opportunity for her personally, uh, she takes her responsibility as a County Legislator very seriously. And, uh, and she is still in session uh, even as we speak. Ken Case is also uh, in court right now and was not able to be with us today and uh, takes his responsibilities to his clients uh, and to the state of New York very, very seriously. So we're very proud, uh, again, to have them uh, as clients, or not clients, but as candidates for primary challenge. And we're very grateful, again, for all of you that have come and particularly the media uh, for your coverage of this uh, press conference. Thank you very much.